Servus, Männer, it's Red Pilp Germany again. Let's talk a little bit about the weather in Germany and how our dear guests, our irregular travelers that we're hosting currently in Germany, how they like this weather. Now normally, especially if you ask them, they're gonna tell you that it's just too cold in Germany, it's too rainy, the sky is dark and gray, and they like it warm. Huh? But they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah? Our mainstream media experts, our state media, state TV experts, they know much better than the irregular travelers themselves, of course. It's not that they miss the warm weather and Germany is too cold and, and gloomy for them. No, the truth is, yeah, this, the, the truth that our true experts have uncovered is that they suffer. They suffer from the hot weather in Germany. It's, it's just too hot in Germany for these exotics. Yeah? And that is why, even though they are so peaceful and um, such wonderful creatures, salt of the earth, um, this is why conditions, thermodynamic conditions in Germany practically force them to freak out during the summer month and, you know, just beat random people up and, you know, punch them in the face, etc. Like, like they do in public swimming pools. And that is what I read recently. Um, it, there was uh, some state TV program in Germany that talked about the weather and more to the point, how the weather seems to be systematically becoming hotter in Germany. I wonder if this is really true, but they claim that, like half a degree or one degree or something like that. And that causes people to, you know, become more violent and it increases stress, of course. It's not the people's fault that they become violent. It's a thermodynamic principle at play here. It's like, it's like a gas in a cylinder. Yeah, it's, it's just science. It's, it has nothing to do with uh, culture or something like that. No, behavior is basically gas molecules. Okay, so they explained to us that this will become more and more severe in the future. Um, just um, acts of violence and stress will increase among the population because it gets hotter and hotter. Well, <laughs> um, they were, once again, they were explicitly using as an example these, um, uh, I don't know what to call this really, it's almost a riot or something uh, that happened before also, but it was very severe last summer, 2022, uh, the summer in public swimming pools in Germany. You, you must know that uh, in Germany, there are many of these outdoor public swimming pools. They have nice meadows and trees and pools and, you know, the entrance fee is not very expensive. People come there to have a good time, to read a book in the shade or just to enjoy the pool. However, since uh, we, we are so overcrowded now in Germany, despite of our experts once again saying that we have enough space in Germany, these uh, public pools, especially in major cities, uh, they have become really overrun in summer. And yeah, it, it is very dense, very packed there. It's not really relaxing. The atmosphere is not really great, as you might imagine, with the customers that you will see there. Um, I would never go there anymore. I enjoyed these places in my youth. Um, I would not go there anymore unless it's a rural area and, or in, the, in the middle of nowhere somewhere uh, where it's still, you know, <laughs> where you know what kind of, ex what kind of people to expect. Um, I would never go there anymore and I would not take my family there. Hell no. Um, yeah, but last summer <laughs> there were some, some major incidents there where, of course, there are you know, young families with little kids and um, yeah, there, 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 there were panics and mass confrontations between groups of, what did they say in the media? Young people? Men? 
youth, young adults, something like that. Of course, you know what that means. Yeah? And uh, it is interesting because these people who acted in such a despicable manner, uh, they, they were born in countries, uh, they come from countries that are much warmer than Germany. Uh, which brings me again to what I said in the beginning. Normally they complain about the cold in Germany and, say, and they say that they feel perfectly um, well in hot weather and they miss the, the warmth of their, of their, of course, superior home countries. <laughs> That's why they're here. Um, yeah, but, but the experts, as I said, uh, of our, our state experts, they know better than these foreigners themselves. And um, they tell us that no, no, the heat is actually causing them stress. And that's why they, they couldn't help but act in this way. Well, uh, and of course, they link that, of course, to our own actions. Uh, and by us, I mean only Europeans. Yeah? Our actions, our industry, our technology, it, it changed the weather mysteriously. Yeah? Well, <laughs> of course, um, we, will, we will be seeing much more of this. And by much more of this, I mean, of course, both. Both these very uh, strange reports and very strange explanations of these um, more social effects that we're seeing. Um, in this summer we will of course be seeing it again uh, in uh, centers of cities and uh, also in these public swimming pools. And I guess with inflation the way it is and with the e broader economic situation the way it is, I think it's pretty safe to say <laughs> that um, maybe 2023 will mm, become even more spectacular than previous years and the explanation <laughs> will of course be once again the weather. <laughs> it's, it's just 0 0.3 degrees warmer so that means there is more violence. Uh, makes sense, right? All right, so um, of course there are some, some real um, factors to consider um, that are not made up and that is uh, I don't know if, if, I mean, there should be systematic studies, studies about this, but we are approaching a solar maximum right now. Um, and that means um, we have higher levels of radiation. We have more turbulent events on the, on the sun, uh, coronal mass ejections and so on. And, um, well... I'm not going to say that is the only reason, but, well, it is a contributing factor. Increased solar activity, increased radiation uh, from space, that is actually creating stress for people. I don't know if it leads to more aggressive behavior. There are people who suggest that, but um, it is, physiologically, it means stress for the human body. Yeah? And that is something that's real. Yeah? What comes from the sun, what you can measure, that is actually real. It's not made up like <laughs> some, some other things the media tells us. Um, but of course, all these factors, the sun, uh, socioeconomic and cultural factors, um, they're, yeah, they're not really considered, but they say that a temperature increase of 0 0.5 uh, degrees Celsius, that turns people Vi uh, turns absolutely peaceful people violent yeah? <laughs> from one one moment to the other uh, yeah and then you you realize that these people come from countries where the average temperatures are much much higher maybe 10 degrees higher than here yeah uh, so much for these experts anyway it was just a an amusing story um, in my opinion, at least, um, not 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 the uh, incidents at the swimming pool. <laughs> that was, of course, um, a very yeah, traumatic for the people who had to witness that and who were not involved directly in it, who uh, took flight. Uh, who, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was not very nice for them, obviously. Uh, but I mean, when I 
when I read about this uh, show on TV where these state experts explained that um, it's due to the temperatures. Yeah, that 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 is something that that made me laugh. But I thought I want to share that with you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Servus, Kameraden.